darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here, and tonight we are going to be opening Pokemon trading card game, New Scarlet and Violet set Obsidian. about this set. It has a bunch of cards that I'm really excited about, especially the fact that we are getting multiple Yukamori cards in this set. We have a lot of really cool illustration rares in this set. Personally, I always like putting them out there displayed in the store like this. I don't know. It's just sort of satisfying for me to look at. Should we go ahead and open some packs? I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna Yukamori card, and I was like, cross 
crossing my fingers we would get a Sinistee because look at the art, it has some real cups of tea in this photograph. If you don't know, Yukamori does all of these little clay sculptures and then photographs them. So, oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so hyped that we pulled that cutie pile for sure. We've got the dad bulb, frogadier. really beautiful art. Look at the lovely rainbow in that. That's gorgeous. We've got a reverse hollow nose pass, a reverse hollow drillber, and a holographic palafin. <laughs> it's so funny I would get this because I'm not a big fan of palafin despite really, really loving its, um, like, stage one. I think he's like kind of scary looking. Is it just me? Does anyone else find him this way? I don't know. He's just, he's a little freaky to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put these cards here just to the side. Uh, we don't need that right now, but Sinistee is definitely going in the cutie pile where she belongs. From the top for this next one. Code card over here, and then we will do one to the back. Okay, here we go. We've got a psychic basic energy Darumaka that is very cute. And 
so I guarantee I'm gonna get like 50 of these. And a reverse hollow squabbit. I don't even really like squabbit, but I think that is a fantastic card. I love this illustration. Who did this? Kayama. Wow, that art style. I just love it. That is really great. This art might even be enough to turn me into a Squabbit fan. I'm not sure. And a holographic Thunderous. Well, not some huge pulls here, but uh, gotta say, we are really nailing it when it comes to cute cards for this set. Wow, I cannot get over Anyone who has a pet that they've discovered getting into something is familiar with that expression. I guarantee it. I promise you. Put those up there. And I'll just make a nicer display here. Shall we go for the Tyranitar? I think we should. Um, has anyone noticed? scissors to open these packs. <laughs> Has anyone noticed? A couple of people have requested just that I give it a try to um, not use scissors just to see what we think. And I'm happy to oblige, although I think into trying it, you know. Alright, what is this pack number for? Okay, ready? <laughs> and let's see, here we go. We have another fighting type energy as our opening card. Didn't, wasn't the last one that I thought so. We have a town store. A very cool design. I love that you get the little background of the houses in there. Quite beautiful. Oh, Toby B. Oh my goodness. This brings me back. I was so into Toby B when I was young. I think because, like, that was one of the first um, really cute, really cute Pokemon. You know? And Misty would carry it around, so I was I'm not so much a Togepi fan, but I really like um, Togekiss, actually. <laughs> so I think this is a really cute card, especially with the tulips in the background. Very nice. We've got a Bonsley. I love all of these cards with little iconic um, buildings in the back. It's kind of nice. It's like grounding the Pokemon in the world. I'm so happy. We pulled a Lapras. I would love to get a holographic of her, but the art is so nice. I love that you really feel that she is in the water. Like, it's such a great angle. The perspective. Oh, just gorgeous. Beautiful. I love a good Lapras card. She's my baby. Even though this is just like an uncommon card, I'm so excited about this. Put her to the side. Mm -hmm. Right there. Masquerade. And we have a reverse hollow chandelure. I like that Pokemon a lot. A reverse hollow dark eye. And wow. Wow, we. Okay. Okay, this is a cool one. We have a Tyranitar. sparkling. Very, very beautiful. Look at this little detail. See how in the light it's it. There's like a, almost like a movement of, I assume, this mountain or old move of like the rocks being thrown towards the viewer. Like, that is 
was awesome. Okay, that's our first big, big, <laughs> that's our first big pull. This is just a double rare, so it's not the rarest um, kind of card in this set, but nonetheless, a very cool card. Is it wrong that I'm more excited about the one <laughs> Why am I like this? I don't know. Okay. But in Tyranitar, I can have the Holy Grail spot for now. <laughs> Put these over here. Chandelure in the cutie pile only because I feel like we could totally get um, a holographic of that one, possibly. You know, Lapras is going in the cutie pile. <laughs> you know. Next, I want to go for another Charizard pack. It's 
sparkly. They're, they're, they know we want sparkly, and then they're letting us have it. That's a very beautiful card, you know. Another cool one. Maybe not what I'm looking for, per se, but hey, we're just happy to be doing this together, right? I'm such a little complainer this time. <laughs> I think it's because in this particular set, Unlike some other ones where I'm like, yeah, I don't care what I get, who cares? There's actually some cards I really want in this set. <laughs> so I'm being a little bit, like, serious about my, my hunt for those. We did we already put this one blue in the cutie pile? I feel like we may have. Yes, I am going to actually swap that out. Uh, Pupitar, Togetic, 
No way, that is so cute. This is like, there's something about the art that's very Y2K to me. Maybe it's an expression of Tokadik. It's kind of, I don't know, it's a little Tamagotchi-ish, don't you think? It's, this is great card art. I really like that. A Stunfisk. Oh my gosh, there's something about this Pokemon. I don't know. I think it's because I play the game, so like, I always associate Stunfisk with getting surprised as like, a trap. <laughs> because that's its whole deal. It hides under the sand and surprises you. So, I have like a, a leeriness towards it that I associate even beyond the games. That's a reverse holo, and a reverse holo bell toy as well. Pokemon that I am not obsessed with, and it's killing me. <laughs> okay, we got a Don't Scroll EX card. This is a double rare. And it's, it's beautiful. Like, I can't complain. I can't complain, but I will. <laughs> the actual little sparkles in this hollow are really specific type of foil and it has little starbursts in it. Can you see that? Like, oh, yeah. Just like that right there. It's very beautiful. Even if it's a toad scroll. <laughs> I don't know if I prefer the, like, Baldean version, uh, you know, of toad scroll or if I prefer, uh, like, OG tentacruel. Both kind of, they live in the same category to me, <laughs> but I will always pick a water typing over this guy. Okay, I'll find a home for you, my friend. You can go right like this. Oh, Togedic, we're really in it now. You know what? I'm gonna go for the Dragonite again. Oh, I should move these just out of our way. There wasn't any cuties in here. No, okay. No worries. Alright, let's open up this Dragonite pack. Get rid of that. Electric energy. <laughs> what can we say about this Pokemon that the picture can't explain itself? It's firm. What can I say? Salanded. <laughs> oh, that's very mischievous art. He's very sneaky. A rare, it's not like, you know, 
giant Totoro and just sleep on its, like, plush, gorgeous belly. <laughs> That's my fantasy. If Pokemon were real, I just want to cuddle them. Gorgeous art. Look, look, look. Oh, how nice is that? This is a win for me. I'm really excited. I'm more excited about this than any of these. I know that's not the correct uh, take, but here I am doing it. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to gently, ever so gently, arrange these in a beautiful way. I'm not giving any preference to any I'm treating them all very equally. Okay, we'll just put that right there. Okay. We have two Tyranitar packs. I think I'm going to pull from this side, though.
also re would really love a holographic Lapras for my collection. Carvana, that's a reverse holo. Carvana, see that? A reverse holo, Togedemaru. And lastly, a holographic Entei. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. When the Entei movie came out years and years and years ago, this is a long time ago, did they or did they not include a Entei trading card when you bought the movie? Am I making this up? Like, was it if you saw the movie in theaters, you could get an Entei card? Or if you bought... I'm gonna look this up after I'm done, but my brain is just conjuring that for some reason. I don't know if that's real. Mm. Something about this Ente card is pulling up that memory for me. It could absolutely be like a Mandela effect though. I don't know if it's real. Alright, let's do this one. a holographic toxicity here, but let's just focus on this very beautiful illustration rare of Palafin. You can't see me right now, but I'm just shaking my head because after all of the about palafin, how palafin looks spooky to me, that I prefer the initial stage, you know, it's pre-evolution and blah yada yada. And of course, I pull the illustration rare of palafin. Why would that not happen? And yet I'm still so happy. <laughs> this honestly is a great card. You've got all these little guys sort of like exploding out of the ocean. There's a lovely coral down here at the bottom. And for me, I'm gonna have because, you know, I love water Pokemon cards, so. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is my favorite card so far. I'm not gonna lie. This is awesome. I'm really excited about this Palafin. And he, he, he's gonna go right in the front here. Although I would like to meet he has a unsettling aura. Can I say that? Is that allowed? He just has... There's something about Palafin, but okay, I'll stop. I'll stop ragging on Palafin. I'm very excited about that. Oh, and right, we got that. Toxtricity. Anybody else? No. Okay. Put those there. Toxtricity. I'll just talk We'll talk that right here. I'm going to very quickly run out of room with the uh, guaranteed hollows in every pack. That's okay. We'll start consolidating them at some point. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Next. up 
more luck on the palafin, or will we get some more illustration rares? I don't know, I hope so. Alright, we've got electric energy, a bronze sword, that is so neat. Look at this, it's sort of like psychedelic art. That's very cool. A snubble on a comfy little chair. Snowball, Capsicid, Trilber, Masquerade, that gum shoes again, <laughs> Pupiter, a Reverse Hollow Caesar, and a Reverse Hollow Froki. That's a really cute. I might replace if I don't already have a Froki in the cutie pile. I'm definitely going to put this one in. And our holographic is a scovillain. Alright, okay. This, this deck, or not this deck, rather this release, Obsidian Flames. I've decided the theme of Inc Obsidian Flames for me is trials and tribulations. <laughs> because I feel like I'm emotionally with this set. The highs are very high and the lows are very low with this set. Okay. Top Tyranitar or bottom Tyranitar? I guess we'll just do the top. It doesn't really Getting higher the more packs we open, where I'm like, you're cute, but I don't know if you're cutie pile cute. You know? That will be our new standard. If someone's flirting with you, just be like, yeah, you're cute, but are you cutie pile cute? I don't, I don't know. You might be out of luck. <laughs> okay, one to the back. And let's see. Obviously, energy first. Our first site that we've seen so far, right? I think so. Meltan, Shark and Dead, Ponyard. Wait a second. Wasn't this like our very first poll that we did at all? A Shark and Dead and Ponyard. Hello, Vulpix. And 
or we could get some more amazing ones, I'm not sure. I have weird luck when it comes to this, like sometimes I can get really good ones right at the end, sometimes not, it's not consistent, probably because this is a game of luck and chance. Alright, so we have a fire energy to start us out, a magnet. our last pack with Charizard on it. Will that imbue it with any um, lucky properties? I have to wonder. What do 
if we got a Charizard in the Charizard pack? I don't think it's gonna happen, but now I've said it out loud, I kind of want it to happen. Starting out with a Fire Energy, a Kamchu. a real sigh, by the way. <laughs> that was not me putting it on. Another holographic skill villain. I'm, I'm about to be in my villain era. If I, if I can't, if I get one more holographic skill villain, that's it. I quit. I can't, I can't even look at him. I'm just like, oh, not you. Oh, this 
eye. That's a really neat one, too. Palafin. Okay, I think I know why I'm in a feisty mood tonight. It's just been so many of these fellas who I don't know. The vibes are off. <laughs> Holographic Ente. Gorgeous SQ. beautiful card in general. Oh, I love this one, honestly. This Tyranitar EX is so beautiful. The shimmering, glimmering jewel of it all. Very, very lovely. But right there we got the Toad Scroll EX as well. It's quite a lovely card, actually.